Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with a wrestling recap for you. And I just finished WWE Payback 2020. This is the first payback in, in three years. And it was held live from the WWE <laughs> Thunderdome. The Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. I guess I'll kind of rush this video. <laughs> the opening bout was for the United States Championship. Apollo Crews defending against Bobby Lashley with MVP and Shelton Benjamin in his corner. Uh, this was a decent match. Uh, uh, Bobby, uh, I mean, uh, Apollo really tried to, um, uh, showed a lot of valor and determination in the match, but he was clearly constantly distracted by Shelton and MVP on the floor. Eventually, Bobby Lashley locks in the full Nelson. Apollo taps out to win a new United States champion. Uh, after the match, Apollo hits Lashley from behind and gets and runs off. I thought it was a bit of a cowardly move from the the babyface. He lost fair and square. He tapped out clean. Uh, maybe this is the beginning of him actually taking the um, uh, offer to join the hurt business that was given to him months ago. Uh, I agree with it. I, I like the title change here. Bobby Lashley's great. I'd like to see some gold on him, but it does seem like Apollo Crews' title run was uh, pretty lackluster. It seems like his his reign was more about MVP and the Hurt Business than actually him. You know what I mean? He spent a lot of the time uh, off TV. It just that uh, wasn't a, that great of a title run, even though he was a decent champion. Uh, backstage, we have Paul Heyman uh, hinting about the main event, uh, the, the freshly turned Roman Reigns. I talked last week in my, Roman, in my SummerSlam review. I, I wasn't totally sold that Roman Reigns was turning heel yet, but they told, oh, they pulled the trigger with it Friday night on SmackDown, revealing that Paul Heyman's his, his new manager. And uh, the whole deal is uh, Roman hasn't signed the contract for the main event yet. We also see Keith Lee in the back talking to JBL. JBL tells him, congratulations being on the main roster. People can't, I just I can't wait to see what you what you bring to the bring, bring to the business. Uh, but just remember, if you lose tonight, don't you know, don't take it too hard. After all, you are fighting Randy Orton. Uh, up next, we have Sheamus versus Biggie Langston. This is you know uh, when Kofi got hurt in the tables match. He told he encouraged Biggie to go out there and chase the singles uh, run, chase the singles title. <laughs> Don't just, you know, think because your partners are out injured that you you should be taking, uh, be sitting on the sidelines. So this is this is Biggie's first singles pay-per-view match in six years. And it's a good match. The whole story really here is just showing the, the tenacity of Biggie Langston, you know, fighting back and fighting back. Uh, now eventually he hits the uh, big ending and picks up, picks up a really passionate victory. Next up is uh, uh, King Corbin versus Matt Riddle. <laughs> the whole story here is King Corbin had put a bounty on Matt Riddle. Anybody could take him out. Nobody's really been able to. Uh, Corbin's made stuff personal about talking about about uh. talking about uh, Corbin's uh, Riddle's personal life. Uh. This match starts off like a house of fire, but then like you know, forty five uh. seconds in, goes straight to the damn rest uh. holes and stuff. Can you give uh. me a break? You were asleep, like, the second I started shooting this video. And, like, you were out for the night. What's with you? Just a butt munch. A buzz kill. Party pooper. Anyhow. The finish comes, um, uh, Riddle hits to go to sleep. And, uh, Corkscrew Splash and pins, uh, Baron Corbin, uh, was there ever really doubt? <laughs> you know what I mean, I mean Matt Riddle in his first uh, main roster pay per view match. Of course he's gonna fight Baron, beat Baron Corbin. And he might as well be fighting Dolph Ziggler. Uh, up next is what I thought was the best match of the night: the uh, women's tag team championship. Great, great match here. Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax teaming up to take on Sasha and Bailey. This the main story here is for is. Continuing to push the disintegration 
between Sasha and Bailey, their friendship. Uh, after Sasha lost the women's title last week at SummerSlam, Shayna and I don't really like each other, but they both want to be champion. So they're not going to don't look to squander this opportunity. Uh, the, uh, it's the great story of uh, Shayna and Nia slowly working together and Sasha and Bailey slowly uh, falling apart during the course of the match. Great point of the match where Shayna and Nia do a great, both each, each hit at each hit. Both had a chip with a move and then look at each other and just like had this, oh, we got this moment. It was great. Uh, the finish comes where Nia, uh, Shayna got Sasha on the ground in the Indian death lock. Bailey comes charging at her. He, she grabs Bailey, gets her in the Conquita clutch. Both girls in a serious submission. Hold. Sasha tries to, uh, goes to hit Shayna to break it up. But Shayna just grabs her arm and wraps Sasha's arm around Bailey's neck and then Bailey Choking Bailey out with her friend's own arm. And then uh, Bailey finally taps out. And Shannon Baszler and Nia Jax are the new women's tag team champions. Sure, they're not going to be champions uh, long. But a great match. A great story. And a hell of a finish. Just making Shannon Baszler look like the, the, the million dollar badass that she absolutely is. Love this match. Uh, up next is a rematch for Monday Night Raw. Keith Lee versus Randy Orton. I... This, I was really stoked for this. This is the match uh, from the whole show that I was looking forward to the most. And it just let me down. Not that it was a bad match. It was just kind of short. And just running through. Uh, clearly there wasn't a lot planned. I was thrown off by Keith Lee's shirt. Why is he wearing a shirt now? Is, is it is it Because he's a big boy. We, uh, Vince McMahon doesn't want to see all that belly. Yeah, it, bothered, it, it, it was distracting. Uh Finish comes, Orton goes for an RKO, Keith Lee uh, spins out of it, hits him with a spirit bomb, and P Keith Lee picks up a huge, huge victory in his first main roster pay-per-view. Next up, a tag team grudge match, a match that probably should have happened last week at SummerSlam. Very emotional match here. Seth Rollins and Buddy Murphy taking on the Mysterio family, those Mysteriosos. And, uh... <clears throat> yeah, just, you know, this match is not no DQ, but there's not a lot of tags. It's a very hectic, wild, crazy match the whole time. Uh, Seth and Ray do that uh, baseball slide into a into a uh, sunset powerbomb into the barricade that they did in their singles match at Extreme Rules. That was awesome. Uh, there's one great point where just the heels are beating down Ray and Ray's just he's like holding him, holding Ray by his ankle and he's begging Dom, Dom, and Dominic's nowhere to be seen. Dominic smartly, by the way, removed that stupid hood from his costume for this match. Uh, the finish comes where uh, Ray hits that power bomb, like I said, on the floor. Dominic hits this with nine on Buddy Murphy, follows up with a frog splash, and the Mysterio family get a very emotional and cathartic. A victory over uh, Seth Rollins. This is a, a great moment here. It just, just really good for them. Uh, good match, triumphant victory, and it just really shows that the kind of emotion you can pull out of a mo out of a victory like that with just a few m months of bu build. Not every robbery needs needs a year to set up. You know, this all set up. You know, they, they, uh, uh, Rollins attacked Rey Mysterio. I think it was. The night after Money in the Bank, so it's like mid-May, just like three, a little over three months, and they've gotten a lot of heart out of this run. Main event time: Triple Threat, No Holds Barred match. Bray Wyatt, The Fiend, the new champion, defending against the former champion Braun Strowman and the man who attacked both of them after that match, Roman Reigns. Uh, Bray Wyatt is the only man in the match who gets an entrance because he's attacked by Braun Strowman before the bell. Uh, the referee just starts to write the no holds barred, let him go because we're just waiting for Roman, you know, the whole time. Uh, uh, Bra Bray hits a, the hell? Bray hits a, uh, a rock bottom through the announce table. Uh, Roman, uh, then, uh, superplex, uh, implodes the ring, destroys the damn ring, and then Roman Reigns comes out. He's got a chair in one hand and a pin in the other. Paul Heyman's got holding the contract for him. He signs a contract, throws the pin away. Runs to the ring, goes to pin Bray Wyatt, Wyatt kicks out. Goes to pin Braun Strowman, Strowman kicks out. Lays waste on Braun Strowman with a steel chair. Strowman kicks out again. Bray gets up, gets him in the mandible claw. Roman kicks him in the tacticals. Roman hits a spear on Braun Strowman. And Roman Reigns is the new five-time Universal Champion in a dastardly, 
cowardly, despicable victory. And what a great show. I just had a blast. I enjoyed, I mean, I enjoyed pretty much every match. The uh, Braun Stro the Baron Corbin, Matt Riddle match was boring, but at least it didn't go too long. The Keith Lee and Randy Orton match didn't go long enough to get out of the second gear. But overall, really good show. Uh, an intriguing, uh, insane main event. Two great tag team matches. I really enjoyed the show. All right, I'm going to cut it here. This is my little bratty brat Scarlet. Yeah, now she's smiling. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.